Well, hi everybody, I'm back again, and we're gonna do a couple different things today. My son just woke up a little while ago, so I decided I'm gonna make him an omelet, and he would like a, a nice omelet, so I'm gonna make a nice Fontina cheese omelet. We're gonna grade that today, and we're gonna throw in some fresh strawberries. This is gonna be good. Anyway, the main focus of today's episode it's going to be, I'm going to do a review of this new pan I just bought. Now, this is an omelet pan. It's a cast iron omelet pan. Um, highly recommend cast iron. I use it a lot for many things that I cook. Um, and I also bought this new spatula to use. And it's an omelet spatula specifically. And I don't normally buy too many things that are specialized. I'm more into things that are multi, you can use for multiple things. So we're going to try this out today. We're going to see how these two things work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this from the packaging. It's got a little uh, band on the back of it, a little wire band to hold it in. And we're going to take that apart. And this is made by OXO Good Grips. And it's an omelet turner. So looks pretty nice, I think it is. I'm going to wash this and come back. And then also, I'm gonna, let's remove this from the box. Now, I probably should put this down towards the board here, and I'd already set up some stuff for cooking, so I'll just move that quickly out of the way. So we can see what we've got here. And there it is, it's the cast iron round griddle. It's a 10 and a half inch, pre-seasoned, and it's a Cousineau. So, I'll take my handy knife, Pop this open and see what this looks like inside. Well, it's got nice packaging. It was held in there really quite well. And for those of you that want me to review anything that you might be either producing or you just want to see something that has been done, I am putting a link on my Amazon wish list. So if you want to buy me something and have me do a review on it or you just think I should have it for my kitchen, I'm happy to do that. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Um, I did get sponsored yesterday by a uh, gentleman that's doing uh, deer processing. So anyway, comes a little handle, a little rubber handle to go on to here. So that's kind of a nice little feature. I like that. Um, it could come on and off a little bit easier, but that means it's going to stay on there pretty well. And it came with a little booklet here talking about how to clean your cookware. Remember, when you're using cast iron, after you've seasoned it, don't use any soap, just water. I just use water and I use a sponge, a scrubby sponge. And that's really all I use to, to clean them. They, they wash up really nice that way. I really enjoy it. So uh, this one's already pre-seasoned, so that's a good thing. So I will be back shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up and then we'll be back. Okay, folks, I'm back. And something I wanted to show you real quick here too. You're going to turn the camera down. But what I do is I turn my burner on high and I'm going to heat that pan up is what we're going to do. So we're going to heat that pan up and it dries it out really quick. So just a little secret that I do. Um, I'm sure that a lot of other people do this too. But it works really well. Turn the heat on for a moment. Let the burner get up to nice and high. Just set your pan on there. Walk away and let it go. Turn it off though. Make sure you turn it off. And uh, that'll just dry your pan out, and it'll be nice and dry. Put a little coating of oil over top of it, put it away. So, and it's ready for the next time. So with that, we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, point us down towards the board, and I'm gonna go ahead and put together the stuff to put our omelet together. Then we're gonna go ahead and make our omelet, test this pan out, test this spatula out, and I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. Okay, I'm back, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start getting our omelet ready here. So with that, we're going to use two eggs. Oh, and there goes a piece of eggshell. Every once in a while that'll happen when I break them that way. People give me a little bit of problem about the way I crack my eggs, but it's just the way I learned how to do it and it works really well normally. So we've got our eggs in there. Get my hands a quick words off, so I got a little bit of egg on them. We're gonna add whole cream. So, heavy whipping cream, that's what I use. Um, for those of you who are following low carb, this will really help you with that. For those of you who are following paleo, this is a very paleo friendly type meal also. So we've got that in with our, with our egg. 
just a little bit. We don't need a lot. We're going to freshly grate some cheese. I'm using Fontina cheese. This is a really nice cheese, and I think my son's really going to like it with his omelet. And it's going to go pair really well with the uh, strawberries. So we don't need a tremendous amount of cheese. So we've got about a half a cup of cheese. So if you're measuring this out, it'll be about a half a cup of cheese for our little project here. Now next, we're going to prep some strawberries. And I don't need a bunch of them, but we're gonna take about four or five. So we got four or five nice strawberries. I'm gonna wash those real quick. Always wash your fruit and vegetables, folks. Um, there's pesticides using that stuff. Many, many people's hands have touched this before it's finally reached the table. So it's just a good idea and for cleanliness and making sure that nobody gets sick. So we're gonna go ahead and slice these up. And this is gonna be a really nice addition. Just gonna add a little bit of extra something to your omelet. And uh, for those of you making these for like your girlfriend or your wife, she might really enjoy something like that. For you wives out there, even your husband, I'm sure, will probably enjoy it too if you wanted to do something along that line or boyfriend. So with that, we'll have this all sliced up and ready to go. And we got one more. Okay, so real easy, real quick. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time doing it. We're going to take our eggs. We're going to whisk our eggs up nice and do a good job on don't be lazy about this make sure you whisk up your eggs really nice this will help when they go to break down and start to cook it'll all smooth out really nice on your pan so we're trying to get a really really nice omelet texture out of this now the style i plan on trying to do is going to be a french style we'll see how this works out on this pan but it shouldn't be a problem or an issue Okay, so we've, got our, so we've got our components ready. This is really all it is to it. Not a lot. Okay, so I'll be back. I'll have the um, camera down at our pan. Okay, we're back again. And we're going to go ahead and spray our pan. We don't want anything sticking to it, so we've got that. I'm using the Vegeline. Um, it works really well. A good friend of mine owns a restaurant. He's the one that kind of turned me on to using that. And it works so nicely. So I have heated up our pan, and we're going to let this start to cook now. And so far that works really quite well as far as spatulas go. And we're going to kind of let this kind of go all around our pan. And I'm going to give that spatula a rinse. And give it a quick wipe off of my towel there. Now we're going to let this cook. In a few minutes, we'll be back, and I'll start adding the goodies. Okay, we're back. We're about ready to start adding our goodies onto there. Everything's cooking quite nicely. You can see how everything is sitting there. It's starting to set up. We're going to take our strawberries. And we're going to add these in here. This is going to be a delicious omelet. I think he's really, truly going to enjoy this one. It's going to have that opposing flavors between the cheese and then the slight sweetness of the berries. Because these are not sweet berries. And there's our cheese. Like I said, we used about four to five berries and about half a cup of cheese. Now, we'll see how this flips. Oh, so far so good. Seems to be working fairly well. Mostly my flipping skills are going to be at question here rather than the pan itself from what I could tell. And I might have added a little bit too much in the way of filling. <laughs> I didn't quite get my omelet all the way there. But this does still look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this continue to cook. It's going to be done here in just a moment. When it gets done, I'll slide it down to the plate and uh, then we'll plate it and serve it. Okay. This is looking really, really good. And uh, I have to tell you that I am not 
perfect expert at doing a uh, omelet itself, but this did turn out really quite well. Now, the one issue I'm having with it though is that my eggs did not quite melt my cheese all the way. So, we're going to be sneaky about this. I'm going to put this in the microwave 30 seconds. We'll bring it right back. We'll come right back. Okay, we're back. And I put that in for a total of 45 seconds. And we're going to put a little bit of sea salt on it. A little bit of seasoning. Some fresh cracked pepper. And there we go, folks. I'm going to give the pan a definite thumbs up. Um, it impressed me. It does well. I uh, cleaned it up. It cleans up super nice. I put it back on the uh, stove top to dry off. So it's drying off. That and the spatula, and the spatula is quite easy to clean up itself also. I did clean it up really quite nicely, uh, very easy, and uh, I think it's well worth buying. So even though it's a specialty item, that spatula, I think I could probably use it for other things, but I'll probably save it just use it for this. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more shows.